What's up YouTube, Chaos Prime here and today we've got a few things to talk about. So I wanted to go through some stuff I actually wanted to go through and show some cool stuff in Fort Tarsus, but with the constant battering of the PS4 shutting down and everything else, I'm simply not getting the chance to do the content I actually want to do. However, I thought this was really important, whether it's true or false I don't know, it does hold some credibility, this user has only posted twice in the last 6 months, both of them regarding PlayStation 4 issues, and both of them on similar cases. Before I get into that, there is a live stream going on tonight by the developers, it's a developer live stream for Anthem, so if you want to be in the know for all the information and what's going on, what's been happening, and just get the general latest, you can tune into it. It is at 1pm PST, 4pm EST and 9pm GMT. It is a patch notes review, but it will also be going over many of the controversial issues that have been plaguing the game as of late. That being said, if you don't have time to view it, I will be making a short summary of that stream so you can watch it the next day through my channel. Now, with that out the way, I wanted to talk about a post that came from JZHZR. They claim to work for Sony, now like I said, they have only ever made two posts on this account, and both of them have distanced themselves from Sony by saying that they are not authorised to speak for the company and what they are saying is by their own accord. However, he is said to work in the Sony customer service and decided to make this post on the Anthem subreddit. He says, No console has been bricked, none zip zero. People just don't understand how to turn the PS4 back on and rebuild a database. I mean the PS4 rebuilds its database on a daily basis, right? I mean it's become a meme. He continues, There is a real issue and it needs to be fixed. But making false claims doesn't help anything or anyone. Anthem isn't going to break your console, but it shouldn't be crashing it either, and this is 100% preventable and something they can fix and shouldn't have been launched yet. Bad form on EA and Bioware. I've taken calls all day about this issue, most people wanting refunds, which we aren't giving out. A few people got them this morning, but then the order came down not to issue them as the issue can be patched. Those that did not get them never had one before, and the one I dealt with was because they had spent quite a bit in the PSN store over the years and it was seen as worth it to keep that person a repeat customer. This is extremely rare. I took at least 150 to 200 calls which is complete bullshit for a call centre, but I can understand how he must have felt to be fair guys because having known people that work in a call centre, it generally feels like that when you're constantly on the phone listening to complaints. He continues, I took at least 150 to 200 calls today, and every one of them that claimed to have a bricked console just didn't know how to restart their PS4 in safe mode and rebuild the database. And to be fair, they shouldn't need to, but the user manual is there, but who reads user manuals in this day and age, people just expect things to work. Again, there are no bricked PS4s. This system is very well designed and doesn't brick. People just toss around the term without understanding it, which is a fair point. He turns around and continues, I don't think you should play Anthem right now. I don't think you should spend money in their store until issues are fixed. I even understand the frustration that people have when they call and are worried about it breaking their systems. It isn't, it won't, you're okay. It will crash. It might even cause data loss and that's a big issue for me, I can tell you that now. But you won't have to buy a new pro. And then he has a bunch of edits here basically replying to people who basically were giving him a hard time. Now this post came out yesterday, this user has only posted twice in the past 6 months, you can check it out. This isn't the first time it has happened on the Sony platform and it won't be the last. Every morning when I put my PS4 on, 9 out of 10 times, it's rebuilding the database. This is nothing different, I even have to at times repair my external hard drive and this is just from shutting down the game regardless of the game I'm playing. I play a plethora of games, not just Anthem and this happens to those as well. There are times when I have to physically hit the power button because my controller no longer has sync with the console. Again, this is due to a hard crash that I'm not even aware of that happened, but it did. Now, is Anthem in a bad place right now? Sure. The fact that he's saying just don't invest any money in the company until they fix the game, that's probably a good idea. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for Anthem, I enjoy it. But at the same time, you paid for a AAA product and you got a triple breed product. The fact is, it's broken. It is broken. There are many things wrong with it. And yes, they're trying their best to fix it. They're working day and night. This is happening. But, that being said, 
the game is broken. It is. I've done countless contracts and they just don't even trigger progress. I've done certain missions and they don't trigger progress. I go into quick play and I can't even finish the mission. Yes, I know you all have to wipe, but the three idiots that I'm playing with don't comprehend it. And when I go down, they come and raise me. I'm screaming on wipe for them to die and they don't listen. But you know, this is beside the point. These issues shouldn't be there. And the bricking of the PS4, the one incident that came up on Reddit, even I could have came and said that. Now, I'm not saying for you to go out and play Anthem. No, if you're worried about this, don't play it. Wait until the patch comes out. Wait until they fix it. If you've lost confidence in the game, fine, go sell the game, move on. But for the rest of you, stop listening to the hate mongers. There are a lot out there. I'm not, I, I don't want to name names because I'm, you know who they are. They take great pride in getting your viewership and hating on something because they know it's cool, right? And it is cool because they get paid for the hate train. And that's what it comes down to. How do you know that that one person wasn't one of these YouTubers that just decided to, you know, fuel the fire because it's EA? Can anyone confirm this or not? I mean, I'm not saying they did, but at this point, there is a lot of fire out there. I appreciate this guy for coming out, whether he's true or not. I just wanted to put this out there because the level of worry and hatred that's going on right now, honestly, it's like it's a political warfare. People just need to calm the hell down. It's a video game. Sure, you paid money for your console, but it won't brick your console. Your console is designed with safeguards. If the console safeguards are not working, well, that's partly down to the manufacturer too. And I believe this is why they came out in the end, if it is true, this statement, to say what they did. I don't know, guys, you let me know. I mean, I appreciate if you don't want to play Anthem right now because of the problems. I advise you tune into the stream tonight to just listen to what's being said and what they're planning on doing but you let me know in the comment section below do you genuinely believe that this can brick your console there are ways to get back into safe mode if it does do a hard shutdown and the game is causing this make no mistake the game is causing this the hard shutdown but there are ways to get back into the game and that is literally by disconnecting the power cord and plugging it back in and that is because it needs a hard fresh reboot in order for it to recycle the power because as long as it's getting power that defensive mechanism is active. Now obviously not everyone knows this and everyone is scared and I understand that. Well, I just thought I'd read this out because I only saw this today and I thought it was pretty important for me to get out there. The hate mongering is getting silly. I hope the stream tonight will reveal something useful. The patch note preview will give us more information as to what's coming on the 12th, what they're fixing. I really hope a hotfix is available for them to push out sooner for this shutdown bug. But overall, just calm down guys. Yes, it's had a shit time. It's had probably the shittest launch ever in video game history. That is a milestone. That no one can take away from Bioware or EA. It has literally had the worst possible start in the history of all gaming. Even worse than No Man's Sky. And that was shit. What I'm hoping to achieve with this video is... If that statement is true, and this is a big if by the way, I'm not going to vouch for this Reddit post because it could be someone completely random just doing it once every six months or when he chooses or she chooses that it's appropriate. But there is some credibility here. They're not just going randomly here and there and saying, oh, I work for Sony. Oh, I work for Sony. Oh, I work for Sony. No, only when real shit happens does this person come out and turns around and says, look, guys, I'm a Sony rep. I'm not speaking for them, but this is my personal opinion. This is basically what I'm doing. I'm not speaking for the company, I'm speaking on my own judgment. This is what's the situation. And he's done this twice on this account. And the two accounts that he's done this, one has been about six, seven months ago, and the other one now. And I kind of vaguely remember six, seven months ago, the same situation happening with another game. So it seems to be a cycle with the PlayStation platform. Well guys, do let me know in the comment section below what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts, your theories. You're gonna tune in for the stream. Let me know, and let's just hope Bioware, EA, can finally get Anthem in a place where instead of coming to subreddit or looking online and seeing all this crappy hatred videos, people can finally turn around and say, look at that awesome video with those awesome javelins and how-to guides and things like this. But don't worry, when that happens, all those that decided to say, I'm done with Anthem, they'll all be back as well, don't worry. They'll be flooded as well. Those that have already given up on the game, yeah, they'll all be back as well, don't worry. It will get there. Right guys, until next time, Remain legend.